Hello everybody and welcome to a nostalgic movie review. I'm your host, Tyler Prime, and today we'll be reviewing The Wonderful Wizard- No, I'm just joking. The Wizard of Oz from 1939. I took the pleasure of watching this movie for the very first time yesterday, and even though I know a lot of the stuff that's happened behind the scenes, which I will not go and talk about in this video, I will not even be naming anyone else except the main actress herself, known as Judy Garland, who played the original Dorothy Gale. I will not even talk about the facts about this movie because if I had to do that, this would be a very depressing video. So I'm just gonna get right into this and tell you what I thought of the movie. Here we go. For a movie that is set during the 1939 era and, well, not set in that time period, but set in a place where everything has an orange filter and soon goes into color, it is an oddly weird cherry film that you could put on and enjoy if you are a fan of The Wizard of Oz. For some reason, this film rubbed me off the wrong way. I just felt like something about this movie seemed very, very, very off. If you have read everything about this movie, I think you would understand why I felt that way, considering the fact that this movie... If you watched closely, you can clearly see that some scenes didn't feel right. Like, for example, Dorothy Gale, the actress who played her, she seems like sad and depressed, like she did not want to be in here, and it looked like, as the comments I read about said, it looked like an adult woman playing dress-up as a different character. Well, a young character, that is. The film was like really too cheery for my taste that added the factor of how I felt off about this movie. Like, it was so cheery, but there is something dark about this film that is hidden. Sure, the Scarecrow is a funny character to watch, the Tin Man could be somewhat of a relatable character, and the Lion is technically something relatable to some people, like how you're a coward, you shouldn't do this, blah 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 blah, grow up. Those three characters are the three original characters you can relate to. But it's just everything else just didn't seem right. And for that, throughout the whole form, I had to like pause the form, look at my phone for a little bit, replay it. It took me like an hour or two to finish, but at the end of the day, I did finish it. And I have to say, the form was a good movie, but still felt off to me, which I don't know if I'll be able to watch this movie again, maybe in like the near future if I ever have kids and I just slept this on for them to watch, or if I had to watch my mother. Either way, the film was good, but it just felt off to me, and that's all I'm gonna leave it as. The rating of this film, I am gonna give it a total of 7 out of 10. This has been your host, Tyler Prime, and I will see you guys in the next review or reaction video. Bye bye